the government of the Kyrgyz Republic has been taking a series of measures to mitigate the negative impact of this pandemic on its economy. We believe it essential that in current pandemic conditions, we all join together and put our shoulders to the wheel in order to take coordinated, urgent measures to control and end the pandemic and at the same time to exchange our experience and information. We can spare no effort, whether that be scientific, technological or medical, to fight what is a global problem. We are certain that with our joint efforts, using new instruments and taking note of the vital lessons we can learn from this pandemic, we will be able to provide the appropriate health treatment and cure to our peoples. Thank you very much for your attention. Excellency, distinguished minister, you have the floor. It's difficult to underestimate the vast amount of work that has been done to help control and reduce the effect of the pandemic by the organization and by its member states in such a short time and also to mitigate its consequences. However, in many cases, countries have been left alone to fight this evil. And I think we all need to understand that the problems are the same in Africa, Asia, Europe, the Americas, and individual countries' problems are not just their problems, they're problems for all of us. The president of Azerbaijan made this clear in an appeal to our people. He said, together we're stronger, and that puts it in a nutshell. Only if we work together and implement the strategy WHO has outlined, we will be able to vanquish this pandemic. As for our country, I'd like to say that our government has taken appropriate measures to fight. We have been tracking, tracing, and identifying infected individuals, and we've been providing appropriate medical care. As a result of all that at the moment, we have only 3,274 patients in a country with a population of 6 million. The mortality rate has been 1.2%. Fighting this global pandemic is something that can only be done through solidarity and cooperation between countries and between countries and international organizations, especially WHO. That cooperation with international organizations and among the international community is now more important than it's ever been. We think that delegations working with the WHO have made clear today that only through joint work to tackle this pandemic will we be able to overcome it. In conclusion, let me 